My name is Nadine, and this is my story. I spent most of my life without being a saved person. I was born into a home where our mom and dad really raised us right. They taught us about the Bible. We knew that Jesus Christ had come to earth to save us for our sins. We knew we could have a relationship with him. Uh, they had real high expectations of us, but yet they did expect us to do the right thing. When my husband and I got married, we made a point of taking our children to church. They were raised in church. Uh, they actually spent a lot of their social life at church because the church had a big children's church and they had uh, lock-ins on the weekend and pizza party. It was really child-based, so we spent a lot of time there. You know, my life was good. Uh, I had a good family. I had a wonderful husband, wonderful kids. I had a good job that I really enjoyed, but yet something was missing. And honestly, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know why. I didn't feel more when I went to church. I didn't, I didn't know what was wrong with me. And one day, uh, I was talking to my sister about getting back in church. It had been a while since my husband and I had been, and I really blamed that on me because he was the one that was always wanting to go and I was looking for excuses. And not that I really thought I was looking for an excuse to miss church. It was just something that didn't resonate with me for whatever. And my sister and I were talking at my mother's about going to church. And she was really excited about a church she'd been attending and she said her, her boys loved it. And, you know, they're in high school and she said they never asked to miss. They really liked the message. They enjoyed going and she really enjoyed it. And she kept inviting, she kept inviting. And actually she got to the point where she was nagging about it. And so just to kind of hush her up, I told her I'd go with her. And she waited on me in the parking lot. And when she went in, we were talking about the church. And when I got in there, it was just, it was really, it was not what I expected at all. Um, when the band started playing, I really enjoyed it. And then when the pastor got up and he started talking, I don't know what happened, but I felt as if he was just speaking to me. And the words that he had just really resonated in me. And in all my years of going to church and all my years of being alive, I had never felt what I felt at that point in time. And I don't know who else was in church that day. I, I don't know what anybody else was doing. All I know was at that point in time, I knew that the Lord was speaking to me. I did ask at that time that Jesus come into my heart and that he make me whole. I went home and I told my husband and he was so excited, he was so happy. And he said he'd been waiting for a long time for that to happen to me. And I don't know, I don't know why it took so long. I was raised in a faith-based family. We raised our kids right. You know, we did go to church. But looking back, I think a lot of what was wrong was the life that I lived. And it wasn't a bad life. You know, I associated with people that were not bad people. But yet when I look back, I see that it was an acceptance of the culture that was around me and the culture that I actually lived in and associated in. And I didn't see it as that at the time, but it was really something that was holding me back. I didn't know what it felt like to have a relationship with God. I prayed, I prayed all my life, but looking back, I prayed when I was in need, I prayed when I was hurting, I prayed when I needed him to listen, and I'm not saying he didn't listen. I'm just saying I didn't really know how to pray. I didn't really know how to talk to him because I didn't have a relationship with him. And now when I pray to him, there's times that I pray and I can feel it, I can feel it in my soul. It's just like there's a burning inside of me and I can feel it in my heart, and it's like my heart's full. And it's just, it's the most amazing thing to have that feeling inside, and you know he's with you, you know he's walking with you, you know he's listening, you know he's blessing. And every day, I see wonderful things that have happened to me, that's happened to my family that I, I didn't notice before, and I think, oh, thank you, dear Jesus, for being with us. And I thank God every single day 
that it made such a difference in my life. It's almost like there was a four and an amp. And I don't want to ever go back to knowing what it was like not to have even my life. Because it's truly been the greatest blessing of all. And I thank God every single time.